Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. In another edition of Black A Spaces, I thought we would head back to one of the most interesting and revolutionary times in Black and gay American history. The Harlem Renaissance had many queer and gay-friendly spaces during the time period, particularly in New York. And L.S. Alexander Gumby's bookstore was a space where some of the most notable Black and gay artists and writers of the time convened to trade ideas, write new material, or just socialize. Levi Sandy Alexander Gumby was an archivist and historian who is most well known for his unique collection of Black and African American artifacts and scrapbooks, where he collected and housed over 300 different scrapbooks filled with historically notable letters, autograph photos, and other relics from Black media and history. These scrapbooks include some of his own personal stories throughout the years, but also include autographed photos and letters from Black music icons like Louis Armstrong, Josephine Baker, Booker T. Washington, and Marcus Garvey. Gumby received a grant from a wealthy stockbroker to open up his own bookstore, Archive and Intellectual Salon. Affectionately called Gumby's Bookstore, the studio would become one of the important meeting places for Black artists and would house his scrapbooks as well as reference materials and books relevant to the writer's work. Other Black icons to frequent Gumby's Bookstore include Claude McKay, Alain Locke, County Cullen, and Richard Bruce Nugent, all Black and queer historical figures previously mentioned on the channel. Check out our Harlem Renaissance playlist for more on these gay ancestors. Besides curating and working in many different vocations, Gumby also started the Southern Utopia Fraternity, a community organization for Southern Black men who moved north and were reacclimating to New York City. L.S. Alexander Gumby was one of the legends from the Harlem Renaissance who lived completely open as a gay man, or a dandy, back throughout the Harlem Renaissance and for the rest of his life. The dandy or pansy craze of the 1920s and 1930s was a time in many major cities where effeminate and artistic men could embrace their feminine qualities and be celebrated for their flamboyant queerness. So hearing someone like Alexander Gumby be described like this by historians pointed his fierce and open queerness nearly 100 years ago. The idea that black gay men weren't contributing to black American history couldn't be further from the truth. It's astounding to think that so many incredibly powerful black, gay, and queer men were coming together to change the way America and the world saw the black race. <laughs>